Hello everyone and welcome back to our lesson. For this video, I am going to talk about traversing and traverse computations. So this is part of our lecture series in fundamentals of surveying. But before we proceed and go and uh, compute some problems involving traversing and traverse computations, let us define some of the uh, terms that we need to understand before we do so. So we have here four terms that we need to understand in traversing. Number one, traverse. A traverse is a series of lines connecting sub successive points whose lengths and directions have been determined from field measurements. You can see on the figure to the right, we have a traverse. Okay, these are series of lines. Okay, there are two types, basically two types of traverse. We have a closed traverse and an open traverse. For this figure on the right, this is a closed traverse. Okay, because the lines connected together form a polygon. Okay, it forms a closed region inside. Traversing, on the other hand, is the process of measuring the lengths and directions of the lines of a traverse for the purpose of locating the position of a certain point. Okay, that's the method, that's the, that's the, actually the doing of the traverse. Okay, and traverse stations are any temporary or permanent point of reference over which the instrument is set up. Traverse stations are sometimes called angle points because an angle is usually measured at such stations. Traverse lines are lines connecting traverse stations and whose lengths and directions are determined. Okay, so we have lines. In, for example, in our figure to the right, we have line AB, line BC, line CD, line DE, EF, and FA. These lines are called traverse lines. That if we connect them together uh, as a whole, we call it a traverse. Okay. So for our lesson, we are going to talk about the four different types of traversing and traverse computations. Number one, we have the interior angle traverse. Number two, deflection angle traverse. Three, we have angle to the right traverse. And number four, azimuth traverse okay so this video is, is specifically this um, made for interior angle traverse okay for the succeeding videos we're going to talk about each of these traverse as well okay so let us go and talk about the interior angle traverse okay so the angles form between the adjacent sides of the illustrated close figure are known as interior angles. So in this figure, uh, you know your polygons, right? So the the angles that the two adjacent sides form is called an interior angle. For example, in this figure, the interior angles are beta sub A, beta sub B, beta sub C, sub D, E, and F. So basically, this angle form between these two lines is an interior angle okay this is also an interior angle this is another interior angle so we have interior angles between two adjacent sides okay basically the measuring of angles is in clockwise direction although we can also measure angles in counterclockwise direction but for our lesson we are going to measure angles in clockwise direction okay that is very important later on as we go on and you may have already known in your solid mensuration class or in any geometry class that the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is equal to n minus 2 times 180 this one okay we need this one because later on if we do the field survey and uh, we do a close traverse survey and then we come up with angles and measurements but uh, the angles that we measured uh, 
do not conform to this summation of interior angle formula, we need to make necessary adjustments or correction to, uh, to angles that we measured on the field. Okay, so the sum of the interior angles should be equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides of the polygon or the number of interior angles. Okay. So let us have an example solving interior angles. This is an interior angle traverse example problem number one. The interior angles of a five sided closed traverse were measured as shown. In the figure, if all observed angles are assumed to be correct, determine the interior angle at C. Also determine the bearing of each line if the bearing of line AB is north 15 degrees 30 minutes east. You, you can see right here that the interior or the bearing of the line AB is already written north 15 min, uh, 15 degrees 30 minutes east the angles are also written here for the interior angle at a we have 118 degrees 30 minutes interior angle at b is 95 degrees 33 minutes interior angle at e is 140 degrees 50 minutes interior angle at d is 134 degrees 10 minutes and we do not have any interior angle at C written that is one of the unknowns in the problem so we are going to solve for the interior angle at C so here is our figure okay so to solve for the interior angle we need to solve for the interior angle first the interior angle at angle C can be computed using our formula for the sum of interior angles okay summation of the interior angles of any polygon is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees okay in this case n is equal to 5 because there are five sides of the polygon so therefore the sum of the interior angles is equal to 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees giving us 540 degrees okay. since we know now the that angle that the sum of the interior angle should be 540 degrees we can just subtract the sum of these given angles from 540 degrees okay so we have angle a oh we just write plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d plus angle E is equal to 540 degrees okay and A, B, D, and E are given angle C is the unknown so we isolate angle C that is equal to 540 degrees minus the sum of the angles A, B, D, and E so that's 118 degrees 30 minutes plus 9533 plus 134.10 and we have 140.50 okay so therefore angle C using your calculator we have 50 minutes I mean 50 degrees 57 minutes this is now the interior angle at C okay so that is our interior angle at 
say 50 degrees 57 minutes okay let us go back to the problem uh, one of the questions here it also says here that determine the bearing of each line if the bearing of line a b is north 15 degrees uh, 30 minutes is okay to do this we need to uh, draw each of the traverse stations one by one to come up with the uh, bearing of each line okay so let us take for example uh, at uh, station B okay so we have station B here we have line a B here whose bearing is already given and that bearing is here right uh, this this is point A papunta kay point B so north is north is uh, ito siya okay so basically these are alternate interior angles in your transversal line so basically this angle is also 15 degrees 30 minutes okay and line BC is here we know that this whole angle is 95 degrees 33 minutes right here okay so this whole thing is 95 degrees 33 minutes and we want to solve for this angle okay let's call this uh, the bearing of b to c because we have c here so we just want to write here uh, alpha b c okay that's the alpha b c so to solve for alpha v c we have okay alpha v c is equal to the whole thing is 95 33 so that's 95 33 minus this angle 15 degrees 30 minutes 15 degrees 30 minutes okay therefore alpha uh, BC is equal to 80 degrees 0, 03 minutes okay therefore we can now solve for the bearing of BC okay so let us uh, bearing of BC bearing of line BC we have south Okay, because it's downward so south east right so that's south 80 degrees 0 3 minutes east okay this is now the bearing of line bc okay let us go to another station say so, uh, traverse station uh, let's go to c and okay? let us draw c right here Okay. and there are two lines connected at C we have here BC we have already computed for alpha BC and this angle is also equal to this angle right so this is 80 degrees 0 3 minutes okay and we also have connected line CD right here Okay, this is C so we have B here we have D here so this is 80 degrees 0 3 minutes okay so we also know this angle the interior angle at C we have already computed for that that's 50 degrees 57 minutes right so we are solving for this angle this is the bearing this is the angle that we need for the bearing of line CD Okay, so we call this alpha CD okay so that's alpha CD we know what is the relationship of these three angles we know that they form a straight line therefore we can compute for alpha CD by subtracting these two angles the sum of these two angles from 180 degrees okay, so alpha CD is equal to 180 degrees minus the sum of the two angles 80 degrees 0 3 minutes plus 50 degrees 
57 minutes okay so alpha cd therefore is equal to 49 degrees okay so now we can uh, uh, state the bearing of line cd we can write it here bearing of line cd the bearing of line cd therefore is south 49 degrees uh, west it's going west so south 49 degrees west and okay, that's the bearing of line cd now let us go to the next point we have point b There are also two points connected at line D. So if this is line D, okay, we have line CD right here. This is station D. We have C and we have E right here. Okay. So we are already given the interior angle. The interior angle here is 134 degrees 10 minutes so we have here 100 134 degrees 10 minutes okay and we are also given the bearing of line cd so this is also 49 this is 49 degrees okay so we can compute for this angle right here we call this the alpha alpha de okay so we can compute for alpha de alpha de is just the difference of 134 degrees 10 minutes and 49 degrees Therefore, alpha DE is equal to 85 degrees, 10 minutes. Now, we can state the bearing of line DE. So, we have here the bearing, the bearing of line DE is north, 85 degrees, 10 minutes going west okay so this is the bearing of line e now we can go to the next point uh, we have e point e okay so there are also two lines connected at e we have de right here okay this is station e uh, the 85 degrees 10 minutes is it uh, should be here this is 85 degrees 10 minutes uh, we also have the given interior angle the given interior angle is 140 50 with line ae okay line ae is going there so this is a so that this interior angle is 140 degrees uh, 50 minutes and we are concerned with the uh, bearing of AE so we call this the alpha AE or EA because we are going from E to A so there alpha EA okay, so how do we solve for this one okay if we add 140 degrees 50 minutes with 85 10 and we subtract this straight line right here this is 180 degrees right so 180 degrees plus alpha ea is just equal to the sum of 140 degrees and 85 this one this angle and this angle so we will do that the sum of alpha ea and 180 degrees is just equal to the sum of 140 degrees 50 minutes and 85 degrees 10 minutes therefore alpha ea is 
uh, 100 uh, the the sum of these two that's 140 uh, degrees 50 minutes plus 85 degrees 10 minutes and then subtract 180 degrees okay so alpha ea therefore is equal to 46 degrees okay so we have 46 degrees now for the bearing of line ea bearing of line a is north 46 degrees west okay so this is a bearing of line ea okay we also have one last point here point a but as you can see we have already solved for all the bearings of the lines of all lines okay so what is the purpose of the last point the last point is use is still used for the purpose of of checking our solution okay if the last point is correct that means uh, our solution is correct okay this is at point a so there are two lines connected at point a we have a b and we also have a e but all angles are already given this is 118 degrees 30 minutes uh, this whole thing the interior angle okay and then uh, the the it this 46 degrees is here this is 46 degrees and of course this is bearing a b uh, that's a b and we have already computed for alpha a b already a while back right so uh what is alpha a b alpha a b is equal to um let's go back Uh, it's 15 ah uh, yeah it's already given right there okay so it's 15 degrees 30 minutes okay so that's 15 degrees 30 minutes okay so to check this should add to 180 degrees right so checking this is already checking so 15 degrees 30 minutes plus 118 degrees 30 minutes plus 46 degrees is it equal to 180 degrees okay the sum should be 180 degrees because the three angles must form a half circle or a straight line right there so the sum should be 180 degrees and if you use your calculator right here we come up with 180 degrees okay so 180 degrees is indeed equal to 180 degrees therefore our solution checks okay and one of the uh, required activity in the problem is to tabulate values accordingly so let us go and create a table for our answers All right, so in creating a table uh, for our tabulated result, we we have four columns here. For the first column, let us write our stations, okay? For the second column, we're going to write here our, the computed interior angles. For the third column, the line, and for the last column, we will write here the bearing of the line. Okay, so there are five stations here. Station A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so for each of these stations, we have interior angles. For station A, we have 118 degrees, 30 minutes, 
for interior angle B we have 95 degrees 33 minutes for C we have 50 degrees 57 minutes for interior angle D we have 134 degrees 10 minutes for E we have 140 degrees 50 minutes okay so from station A we have line A B uh, we all from station B we have line B C station C we have line C D station D we have D E and from station E we have line E A and we shall write the bearing of these lines in our last column for the bearing of line A B we have north 15 degrees 30 minutes east for line bc we have south 80 degrees 03 minutes east for line cd we have south 49 degrees west for line de we have north 85 degrees 10 minutes west and finally for line EA we have north 46 degrees west okay so that's how we tabulate our result in interior for a close traverse uh, if you are given an interior angle method of traversing okay so that's it for this video we had we still have one more example for this topic and it should be in the next video i will see you there thank you for listening